150 employees there. Phil Perkins joins us with the latest. Hey, good morning, Annette. What you're taking a look at right now is a live look from the top of our tower cam of our satellite truck here, just uh, right next to the Rosa Floor greenhouse here in Dunville, which is just west of Welland. You can still see some uh, compartments, some of the structures, uh, which are either greenhouse buildings or office buildings or storage units, are still smoking, still visible flames uh, from a fire, as you mentioned, which started about eight hours ago. There's up to 17 units from the Haldeman Fire Department and some from nearby Waynefleet that have been fighting this fire. Uh, we've been told that three firefighters, which have since sent, been sent to Dunville Hospital with smoke inhalation, one actually collapsed due to this thick, heavy smoke here, are all now in stable condition. They're all expected to be back home. Now, this is a very large complex. It's split up into two parts, uh, split up by one of the streets here, but the one here on the east end uh, sustained a terrible amount of damage. And as you mentioned, uh, the owners of Rosa Flora told us that they employ about 150 to 200 people, uh, mainly uh, international workers who come here depending on the season. In fact, some did come in this morning trying to work, but they're obviously turned away uh, because of this destruction. And uh, one of their main products here is the Gerbera Daisy. They're the number one grower of that particular flower in North America. They told us those flowers have not been compromised. In fact, the flower that was compromised uh, was the Snapdragon flower. They said they're going to look to local buyers to try to buy that out to sell. But speaking of money, and the Ontario Provincial Police have told us that they're estimating the damage to be in the tens of millions. And also, they called in the Ministry of Environment because of some of the fumes from things that may have been burnt overnight, uh, fertilizer as well as some of the plastics to cover some of the greenhouses. And also, at one point, there was a yellow-orangey type fume coming from one of the buildings. Uh, they're trying to get a better look and see what exactly uh, that smoke was comprised of. And again, the Office of the Fire Marshal has also been called in. They're called in any time uh, a fire has a damage of half a million dollars or they are suspecting that it is suspicious. And of course, as we mentioned, they're estimating the damage to be in tens of millions, so that alone is good enough reason to have the Ontario Fire Marshal make their way here. Send back to you. All right, thanks, Phil. British Daily newspaper The Guardian is reporting that the Crimean Parliament has voted